So are you guys facing the problem where you guys are having transaction error? So let's say you connect your trust wallet to a website and you're trying to do transaction, for example, PancakeSwap. You connect your wallet to PancakeSwap, you're trying to do the transaction and the transaction just doesn't happen. Well, the first reason could be a slow internet connection. So always make sure your internet connection is fast enough to run your trust wallet and your other website smoothly because if it is not, then it's your internet connection, not anything else. But let's say you have a stable internet connection and you're still facing the problem well you guys are at the right video because by the end of this video you guys will know how we guys can fix this problem and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe to our youtube channel how to guide so you guys can get notified once our new future videos just like this releases all right so first thing for an example i'm gonna go to my browser since i'm using iphone and like you know trust wallet doesn't provide you the browsing feature for iphone i'm gonna go on this website pancake swap for an example but you can do this for any website over here all right so my wallet is already connected so i hope your wallet is also already connected because if your wallet is not connected then basically that's the reason your transaction is not happening all right you gotta connect your wallet so let's say your wallet is connected just like this what you gotta do is you gotta disconnect your wallet how you can disconnect your wallet is click on your wallet on whichever website you are i'm on pancake swap so i'm just gonna click on it click on disconnect and my wallet is disconnected once my wallet is disconnected you gotta click and connect wallet again click on wallet connect click on trust and your you know trust wallet is going to open up click and connect and your trust wallet will be connected with that website again now your old transaction is going to be cancelled once you do this so you got to do that transaction again and this time it's not going to say transaction error but if this time also it says transaction error do the same process again and again and again until the time it says like your transaction is done all right because this is the only way to fix it and a lot of people's problem has been fixed by doing this step which i'm doing all right so hope you guys understand and how you guys can fix your transaction error in trust wallet so if you guys found our video helpful then don't forget to hit the like and subscribe to our youtube channel with notification on i'll see you guys next time bye bye until then